Hey guys, in this video, I want to discuss something that um, I would call tracking an idea or following an idea. Guys, what do I mean by tracking an idea? You can't lose sight of what price is probably doing, okay, on a higher time frame. So, like, for example, you know that the market is always drawing to liquidity, right? It's always going to draw to a high or a low. And let's say that, that you had 618.75 in mind. And you're sitting, right, you're sitting here. Or you're sitting in here. That price is going to be so far away that when you're watching kind of the lower time frame fluctuations, you're going to lose sight of what price is trying to do on a higher time frame, which is go deliver 618.75. And you can't be too quick to reverse a lot of the time. I'm just telling you that. When the market is in a high resistance liquidity, so like for example, let's say that we've got sell side liquidity. We had it here at 518.75. Now we also had it there at 15,043 quarters. Of course, this was FOMC Wednesday. I understand that. But all throughout here, guys, the market's giving you a lot of um, choppy price action. It's really making it very difficult for you to hold on to the same position. And even if you're not in a position, though, like let's say you're flat or you're stopped out for risk management, and I get that, you can't lose sight of the bigger picture. you got to keep tracking what the bigger picture is. That bigger time frame liquidity, higher time frame liquidity, not bigger, higher time frame liquidity. And when the market delivers that higher time frame liquidity at that point, um, then you can start reassessing. But, but guys, you've got to kind of track ideas for a long period of time, including through a lot of pullback, a lot of resistance, a lot of chop. You've got to keep with the same idea for a while. You can't, you can't reverse too quickly, all right, a, a lot of the time. You've got to wait. I, you know, sometimes the market is, is going to be very choppy. It's going to be very high resistance. It's going to be difficult to track. But, you know, you've got to kind of have an iron mind and say, no, I'm still tracking that idea. Like, for example, all throughout here from Asian sessions, 634 all the way up now to 639 quarters, I've been tracking that all night. And I tried reversing a few times, and that was the wrong thing to do. Guys, you can't give up on your ideas too quickly. The market will sometimes start seeming like it's going to reverse on you and then it's going to keep going to that same idea that you had in mind and and by the way sometimes it's just going to stop you out and and you're not going to be un involved with it right it's not going to be the cleanest move ever there's nothing i can say with that basically all i'm trying to say in this short and sweet message is um don't give up on your ideas too quickly the market oftentimes if it's in a high resistance liquidity run um, if it's in a very chop chop, it's it's trying to stop everybody out. It's really not allowing you to trade the move. And by the way, I mean it. Like it will not allow you to trade the move. Not day trade it. I mean, yeah, if you never move your stops and so on and so forth. But I mean really day trade it. You can't do that if the market is doing this. That's not a day tradable move. It went to the objective. It, it, it delivered 518 quarters, guys. But that's not a tradable move. It, because it's stopping you out every two seconds. It's just not. I mean, you can tell me that it is, but it's not. And that was FOMC Wednesday. And they're purposefully, guys, that's purposeful. That's the market saying, nobody, we're, you're not, we're not allowing you to trade this. Sorry. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Um, so anyways, basic point in this message and that I'm trying to get across to you is uh, you, you cannot give up on your ideas too quickly, okay? Stick with your ideas for a while. You'd be surprised how many moves you think are reversals and are not reversals. They are just retracements. They're just short-term retracements that are going to, in the market's going to continue to go up. Like here, for example, all the way back from when price delivered at 714 quarters. Let's say we're sitting up here at 719 halves. Guys, that move all the way back down to that sell side liquidity at 555 evens, guys, that was set. That was ready to go. And then it even drew lower again, lower still. Look at that on, on last Friday. My point being, guys, is that that same idea that was all the way up there from 718, three quarters to get down below, uh, trade to it and through it down below 547, that idea never went away just because of all the retracements that you had. That idea was still there. And so the only way that you could keep, you, you could keep track with that 
is is by following the same ideas, guys. Don't give up on your ideas too quickly. At some point, yeah, the market's going to reverse, guys. The market reverses. It moves in two directions. So it's a balancing act. But my point being is that there's there's way more like way more retracements than there are reversals. Does that make sense? Way more retracements than there are reversals. So don't assume that every move, even if it's fast and violent, they're not all full-on reversals, guys. Okay? They're not. They're, they're retracements. And the market is going to continue to move to some sort of higher time frame liquidity. So in this video, I've discussed not giving up on your ideas too quickly, um, waiting for the market to get to that higher time frame liquidity or inefficiency, but usually liquidity, but let's say inefficiency as well. Just keep tracking the same idea for a while, guys. Don't um, don't reverse too quickly. Okay, uh, you got to be really convinced, right? The market's delivered a higher time frame, you know, 30 minutes and above or daily. It's it really needs to have delivered something on the opposite direction, opposing liquidity, before you really feel comfortable that the market has reversed. Like the market's really got to convince you, like, okay, it's delivered a higher time frame, liquidity or inefficiency in the opposing side. Now, okay, now I think it's a pretty good idea, and I've seen a PD array, pretty good idea we're going to go to the opposing liquidity. So we, we just delivered a bunch of buy side. Now I think we're probably going to go down and track down the sell side, right? You have to do that, guys. You've got you to really be convinced that the market's reversing before you start, before you, you know, stop trading in the same direction. Does that make sense? Okay. In this video, I talked about trading in the same direction for a while. We talked about high resistance liquidity runs. We, we talked about following the same idea over a long period of time, even through retracements. And I, I hope this helps you guys. This is not a PD array or anything video. It's just, just my general observations. Bye-bye.